Uh, Patsy, China is investing heavily across the continent. Some people yeah. feel like China has literally colonized the continent. Mm -hmm. Who is setting their agenda? Isn't it ja China? I think, <laughs> well, I think, you know, we are living in a time with an administration that's very clearly saying America first. Yeah. And that is a policy that is translated everywhere in the world, not just in Africa. We see the U.S. pulling out of agreements from TPP to Paris to all sorts of things. So we are in an administration that is very nationalist, is very anti-globalist. This is very clearly say, stated by the uh, president at the UN General Assembly in September. We reject the doctrine of globalism. Yeah. So there's no question about that, yeah. right? So it's just on the ground, what might that imply? What might that impact? And so going back again to the first lady's visit, will it make a lasting impact? We have to look at it from a broader point of view of policy. If we look back to previous First Lady's visit, for example, Clinton, she brought with her her husband's agenda of polio eradication. She made several trips. Laura Bush brought the agenda and the platform of um, anti-AIDS, you know, and also a billion dollar package from the Bush administration. Michelle Obama with girls' education. So those trips made a lasting impact because there is this big policy and big funding behind it and the programs continued way after the first lady mm -hmm. left the country i don't think that's the case with melania trump's visit this time okay. so uh just in a few words as we end the program what do you think the united states needs to do now in that reality of america first how can it uh, how can africa leverage itself and uh, what is it that you think america should do well i think first and foremost an apology is still needed from trump himself i think that is what many countries have said i think second pulling back on the the push towards militarizing a relationship with the continent because there is funding that's going to the continent but it's going in the form of military hardware uh, training uh, and and those such programs mm -hmm. and 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 i think the more you're uh, sort of arming and equipping militaries that then unleash human mm -hmm. rights violations against <coughs> civilians, I think Thank you will end up with, with problems further down the road. Okay. So I would say, first, do no harm. <laughs> right. Do no harm.